Welcome to our tutorial about arrays. So far in this course, we've worked with variables that only hold one value. An array is a variable that can hold multiple values, but it only stores one type of value, for example, a string, an integer, etc. Arrays are very useful for storing logically related values in your program. An array is like a box with multiple compartments. Let's begin by learning how to define an array. And in this tutorial, we'll work with a fixed size of an array, an array that holds, let's say, four values. Dim A, open and close parentheses, as string. Now within the parentheses, I'm going to type the number three. You may notice that I just said our array is going to hold four values, so why did I type three here? That's not a typo. The reason is that the array is zero index based. In other words, the first value in the array has the index zero. The second value has the index of one, and so on. The syntax for declaring the array is different than for a standard variable. And it looks like this. Let's comment out my first line. Here we'll type 0, 2, 3. This makes the code a little easier to interpret. Basically, here we declare 0 implicitly. You're probably thinking or asking can you start the array from a number other than 0? The answer is no. Now let's assign a value to the array. I'll type A, open and close my parentheses, space, equal sign space, open and close double quotation marks, and within those I'll type name. Now let's copy this line and paste it below. Four times in all, one more. Now we'll change the values here, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Let's change the string also. Name 1, L name for last name 1, name 2, and L name 2 for last name 2. Let's bring in a message box function now. I'm going to use the message box to retrieve a value from the array. Let's begin with A1, copy, paste it here. Let's run our program. And we retrieve the string L name 1. OK. Let's add one more value to our array. I'll copy and paste this line. Change this number to 4. Let's run our program. Now we've got error. Index was outside the bounds of the array. Basically, I tried to place the value in the array but it didn't have the spot reserved for it that I tried to use. Let's comment out this line. We can also use a multi-dimensional array. 0 to 3, comma, space, 0, 2. Let's say we want 4 rows and 4 columns. By the way, for this type of syntax, it looks like this, 3, comma, space, 3. Let's comment this line out. Modify the assignment statements as well. 0, comma, space, 0. The next one will be 0, comma, space, 1. Here we'll put 1, comma, space, 0. And here, 1, comma, space, 1. A two-dimensional array is basically a table of values. We can also create a 3D array and so on, up to 31 dimensions actually. But arrays with more than three dimensions are rarely used. OK, let's modify our message box. Copy and paste it down here. Now space. Ampersand symbol, space, 
Open and close my double quotation marks, space, ampersand, space. And let's copy and paste this. Paste it here. Let's click OK to run the program. And here we've retrieved name one, last name one. Click OK. This concludes our first tutorial about using arrays.